I can't. Gotta catch a flight back home. Best of luck. Jones, escort Andy back to yeah, base camp. <laughs> Jones. <laughs> if you enjoy bed bugs and watery eggs, then this is the hotel for you. 10,000 miles away from home, and I still can't escape reality TV. That's depressing. Come on, I'll take you. Outer Banks, stop by Leo and Lee's for a cozy bed and a scrumptious breakfast. I'm Jared Blasco. Tune in next week for my next jaunt. If that delivery were any cheesier, we could spread it on a cracker. Judd, welcome to reality TV. But is this B&B in the mountains a bit over the hill? What do you think? I think we need to back it up to the top of the stairs or else it ruins my grand entrance. And uh, make sure you get a shot of that broken window shade in my room. I made a joke about a shade decorator. You can't say that. You're the one who broke the shade. But the network wants to uh, spice things up, and I think it's a direction worth exploring. Anyway, we need a replacement hotel for next month. So, any ideas from my favorite producer? I was actually thinking about the Shangri-La Hotel and Spa. Everyone's talking about it. The last time we tried to do a big hotel chain, it just seems like we were doing an infomercial. Shangri-La's so new, I just don't want another show getting in ahead of us. I mean. You don't want to be beaten by another producer, do you? Hello? Brian, it's Andy. Andy. My man. Are you back on U.S. soil? It's even better. I'm back in town. Almost to my mom's place now. Long flight, long drive. I had to get some coffee. It's great news, bud. You're just in time. What do you mean? Your mom's handyman quit. I guess you couldn't afford to pay him anymore. The b and is falling apart. What? She didn't tell me that. You were unreachable. <laughs> I've been trying to help out when I can, but I got a job, a wife, two kids. My free time is limited. It's good you're back in town, bud. It sounds like it. Hey, I got to go. I'll see you soon. Yeah, sounds great. All right. All right, bye. Hey. Did Jared get the memo on the Florida location? I don't know, but he sure didn't get the memo that we're not dating anymore. It's never a good idea to date your boss. To be fair, he was my boyfriend before he was my boss. Whoa, your food blog has 50,000 followers? I can't believe you haven't told Jared you're e-dining with Adina. You're the only one who knows. Anyway, I should probably get going. Jared wants me to check out the Shangri-La Hotel and Spa. Wow, lucky. In a sack. You have a reservation? A lot of reservations. Me? I wasn't expecting you till tomorrow. Hi, Mom. Got an early flight out of Brussels. Oh. You have the most boring alias. Diane Brown. It's just easier to travel with an alias, even for fun. I mean, your name, Diane McCarthy, is not much of a change. Turn left ahead at Cedar Road. Left turn ahead. Madam, can you spare a morsel for a weary traveler? Charles. <laughs> Another medical conference. Are you going to speak this time? No, no, no. I'm listening this time. It's a big lecture on kidney stones. Hey, Dr. Burke. Andy, how are you? How have you been? I can't complain. Been reading your articles. Uh, very exciting. Yeah, you should see what doesn't make the news. Is that right? <laughs> Honey, would you take Dr. Burke's bag up to room seven? Of course. Once I get settled, it'll come back down and we'll catch up on all the excitement that's happened since last medical conference. Oh, Cedar Road, where are you? Make a legal U-turn when possible, then proceed to Cedar Road. What? I... 
I can't make a U-turn here. Oh my God. Okay, all right. Am I stuck? You've been coming here for quite some time. You think that Forest Cove is a little too much for my mom? Ah, Helen's been working pretty hard to keep this place going, but hey, listen, Andy, every business has its ups and downs. She'll be just fine. I hope so. Oh, watch out for that banister. It's a little loose. What'd you do, run out of duct tape? Uh... Hey, Jared. Do you have a second to talk? Oh, hey, Gina. Can you use the help? I'm having a beast of a time trying to choose a headshot. What do you think? That one. Really? You look so good in all of them. Right. What can I do for you? Do you remember a few months ago when we talked about trying me out on camera? You said you'd help me find a hosting job. <laughs> it's really my dream to do what you do, and I'd be so honored to learn from the best. Gina. Have you heard of a little something called star power? Yeah. Some people, like myself, are born with a natural charisma, a sort of, uh, je ne sais, whatever, that draws the public right in like a, like a moth to a flame. That's what I have, star power. You understand what I'm saying? That I'm not a star? Exactly. Gotta be kidding me. Well, actually, Gina, I'm not. Forget it, Jared. I'll see you later. Look, maybe you can pose as an extra behind me sometime. I mean, that'd be fun, right? Sure, Jared. That's the one. This place looks like it needs a fresh coat of paint. Well, this place needs a lot of things. <laughs> Been a little slow, so I haven't had much left over for repairs. What happened to the handyman? Henry took a job at the Shangri-La. Well, you're gonna need a handyman. It looks like the roof's leaking. I mean, who's gonna take care of that, me? Well, that was nice of you to offer. Thank you. Helen? Mom. Oh, Bill, meet my son, Andy. Oh, hi. Hey, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Um, Helen, I was going to ask about the Wi-Fi. Uh, it's not working in my room. Oh, yeah, it's on the fritz. It, it still works in the lounge. Hey. To you. I was on my way to Shangri-La and my car was stuck and then my phone was dead. So could I borrow your phone? Of course you can, but it's gonna take quite a while for road service to get out here. Why don't you just stay the night? Thank you, but I really should get going to Shangri-La. We need to get out of those wet clothes. You're gonna catch a cold and then you're gonna ruin your whole vacation. I can dry them up for you. Really? Yeah, and, and then you can have something to eat while you're waiting. You must be starving. I am. <laughs> So shall we begin? So today I would like to focus on the concept of yes. Oh, hello. You must be new. What's your name? Gina. Gina. I'm Ben. Welcome to class. We're happy to have you. Thank you. So what brings you to class? Are you an actress or just looking to have some fun? Actually, I want to be a host. A host? A television host. I um, work behind the scenes at John's with Jared. My real dream is to host my own TV show. Oh, well, that's great. Um, so what are you hoping to gain from this class? Practice, mostly. I was hoping I could do some improv interviews while I was here. 
I think we can make that happen. All right, guys, let's get into yes. Hi, Jared, it's me. I'm not at the spa. I'm at, um, uh, never mind. I am f fine. I, I gotta go. Hi, Helen. Hi. So your clothes are almost ready. This should help in the meantime. Thank you. I called about your car, and they towed it to the service station, but nobody can get to it until tomorrow. So why don't you just spend the night here and no charge? That's so nice. Sleep well, dear. Good night. Nothing beats hot chocolate on a stormy night. Unless it's someone delivering it to your door. This little B&B is full of surprises. Awesome job tonight, guys. All right, that's it for tonight. Homework assignment. I want you all to create a character. And I want you to know this character inside out, the twist is that Gina will be playing herself as the host of her own TV show. So next week, your characters are all going to be guests on her show, and we will see what happens. Got it? <laughs> all right. See you next time, guys. Excuse me, can you stop? I'm trying to sleep. You succeeded. It's almost noon. What? I was supposed to wake up at 7 a.m. Our wake-up calls are pretty unreliable. My mother thinks you need to sleep. She'll ignore it. Wait, Helen is your mother? I'm Andy. Mm -hmm. You must be Miss Brown. What? Oh, <laughs> yeah. Just call me Diane. She was worried about you. Well, I'm great. I can't remember the last time I slept more than four hours. Wow, it is pretty here. Hello. Everything okay up there? Yeah. Okay, well, come down and have some lunch. It was nice meeting you. You too. Thank you. I apologize for the coffee machine not working. She is fine as long as there's caffeine. <laughs> Tammy, would you bring some uh, eggs florentine for Diane, please? You bet. Thanks, but I really should get going to Shangri-La. You know what? The service station called, and they said that when you went off the road, something happened underneath your car, and it's going to be in at least until tomorrow before they can get it fixed. Why don't you just stay here until everything gets sorted out? I guess one more day wouldn't hurt, but I want to pay for my room. OK. I'll take it. <laughs> Enjoy your breakfast. OK. How's the art coming? going in a completely different direction, more minimalist. What do you think? I think you're really finding something inside. <sighs> Keep looking. You're close. The best thing about this blog is the great surprises along the way. Here you go, Diane. Thank you. You're welcome. Enjoy. Mm. Forest Cove's kitchen may not look like much, but the eggs Florentine are excellent. Of us? Oh, sure. <laughs> we come every year on our wedding anniversary and take the same photo. <laughs> we even wear the same clothes. Mm -hmm. That's such a lovely tradition. Say, um, Force Cove. Force Cove! <laughs> <laughs> so, how long have you guys been married? Ten years. It's your tenth wedding anniversary and you come here? You don't go to Hawaii or Italy? <laughs> oh, well, we've been to those places, yeah. but we met here. Force Cove is special. Thank you. <laughs> I love this place. <laughs> it's great, huh? Or something like it. 
Something like it. Handy. Welcome back, bud. It was great to be back. How was your trip? Long, but good. How's your mom? She's well. Put me to work. Meddling in people's business, you know, the usual. Sounds like Helen. Yeah. She doing OK? You know, honestly, I don't know how she's kept the place up this long. I don't know how much longer she can do it. I mean, she can't afford another handyman. And I leave in a couple weeks. Where are you going this time? Got an assignment in Australia. <sighs> Must be nice. Yeah. My first cover. Sounds like a big deal. Yeah. What are you going to do about your mom? About Forrest Cove? I don't know. One second, all right? You know what? It's her. I got to get back, man. Talk to you later, OK? All right, bud. Come on, fellas. These boxes got to go out today. Orchard looks good. I did notice your new herb garden over there. Yeah, you know, Tammy, our waitress, she's been planting vegetables and herbs for the restaurant. Look at the time. Aren't you supposed to be at a conference today? Oh, yeah, the conference. Well, I could either be watching a PowerPoint demonstration or be sitting there on a lovely day with a beautiful woman. So that's uh, a tough one. Jared. Lynn, great to see you again. If I may say so, you look absolutely stunning. You're probably wondering why I'm speaking to you. Well, I assume it's because you just love seeing me. No, that's not it. We had to cancel the bug show. Oh, great. That show is dreadful. That show was my idea. Such a good idea. I mean, why on earth would you want to cancel a show like that? That means I have a slot open this week, and I would like to do a live special on Jaunts with Jared. With pleasure. Oh, we've never mm. done a live show before. There are lots of possibilities. We need to be memorable, and it's got to be something different than your usual shtick. I think I've got an idea. Do you want to hear it? No, I have a meeting. But I do trust you will do whatever it takes to get the ratings. Oh, well, I will. I know. What's cooking? It's so rare I get to ask that to someone who's actually cooking. <laughs> I'm trying to make a key lime pie, but it keeps coming out too limey. Oh, better than tasting like keys. You know, maybe I could help. You bake? I know a little bit about food. Well, I don't want to put you to work. But it's not work. I love to bake. It relaxes me. Well, that is be my guest. Horace Cove is all about relaxing. Everyone seems to love it here. I still feel like everybody that comes here is family. I can tell. Well, I think the Carsons are ready to check out. Be right back. Okay. What about this guy you working too? I volunteered. Yeah, she's good at making people think that. Your mom's one of the sweetest people I've ever met. And that's no way to run a business. Your mom treats the guests like family. Things like these are disappearing. They are special and they need to be saved. But with the right publicity, this place could be booked for months. We don't have the money for marketing. We can barely afford new light bulbs. You don't need a lot of money to get noticed. No wonder my mother likes you. Another person who does not live in the real world. You, like this pie crust, need to chill. Gina? Hey, how's the B&B? I have an idea. Instead of Shangri-La, let's do the show about Forest Cove. Is the altitude shorting out your brainwaves? I'm serious. This place is totally charming, and the owner is like the nicest woman on the planet. They could really use some good publicity. I don't know. Jared's all set to cover the spa. Gina, this is why we started the show in the first place, to give mom and pop businesses the attention they deserve. I'm not the one you have to convince. Jared wants something big and shiny to get ratings. I know. Hang on. That was the network. Jared, I have Diane on the phone. She wants to run a show idea past you. I'm putting you on speaker. I'm here with Jared, Eric, and Judd. Hi, guys. Diane. So I've got news. The network is pulling the show about the people who eat bugs. Ant eaters? I love that show. They've got some slots that they want to fill, so they're talking about doing a special event. Bad for bugs, good for us. They're thinking about doing a live Jaunts with Jared special next week. And if it goes well, we could have a spin-off. 
I don't know, a live show is tough. Not with the right place. What, you mean uh, the Shangri-La? No. It's a B&B called Forest Cove. It's a little rundown, but charming. They could really use some publicity from our show, and we could even save their business. Rundown. I know what you're thinking, but there's a lot of wonderful things we could highlight. No, it's perfect. Really? Yeah, stay put, get some more pictures, get a little bit more information. Uh, did you use a fake name? I always do. Jared, we're doing something amazing for these people. Well, that's what makes great TV. Let me have a word with the network. I'll let you know if they bite. Bye for now. We'll get on it right away. I'll have Judd start the paperwork. I'll jump right on it. Are we really going to build a live special around a quaint little B&B? Quaint little rundown B&B. That's the key. And the network wants something memorable. We're going to make this place look so bad, people would rather sleep in their cars. Thank you, Dr. Roberts, and all of my guests tonight for your insightful insights. That's all for tonight, folks. Tune in next week for another episode of Gina's Jabber. And scene. Nice work, everyone. All right, our time is up for tonight. No homework this week. I want our exercise next time to be completely spontaneous. All right, I will see you next time. Gina, can you stay for a second? Sure. Join me. What's up, Ben? I wanted to talk to you about your performance. Well, you hated it. No, not at all. I didn't hate it. Mm, it didn't feel right. I was terrible. Jared was right. You weren't bad. Really, I can tell you have a lot of potential. And I don't know who this Jared guy is, but he is wrong about you. You have something special. You think so? Oh, I know so. You just need to relax a little. Okay, just be yourself. You're coming off a little... Like a demented cheerleader? Just a little bit. <laughs> I think we need to get you some real-world experience. What do you mean? What are you doing tomorrow night? Nothing, I guess. I have an idea. I will text you where and when. Sure. Just trust me. <laughs> Dr. Burke, how are you? Hey, Andy. Mom, I'm gonna head into town. You need anything? Yes, please take my coffee machine in and get it fixed. Coffee machine's about as old as I am. It's a lost cause. Well, whatever you might need to sand and paint those benches. Okay, anything else? Oh yeah, room three, it has a crack in the wall. You know, the last time you patched one, you did such a good job with that spackle. That's what I get for asking. <laughs> yeah, you said it. But you were always your mother's best employee. Just like old times. Have a good one. Hey, it's Brian. Hey, Andy, what are you doing here? Did you know my mom's behind on all our bills? They're about to cut the power off. I didn't know it was that bad. What are you gonna do? I don't know. I just don't see how she can keep this up. I hate to say this, but have you thought about selling the place? I was hoping it wouldn't get to that point. I know a guy who does this type of thing. Let me give you his card. You know, it would break my mom's heart to sell. Just meet with the guy. See what he has to say. You don't have to decide just yet. All right. I'll think about it. Come on. I'll get you his card. One grilled cheese with tomato soup. Oh, thank you, Tammy. Tammy, what do people do here? Are there any activities? Lots of hiking trails. Helen will pack you a picnic if you want. Oh, uh, there's a stream. Do you fish? Only for compliments. <laughs> well, there's the hayride, that's fun. Oh, hayride. How is everything? You are an amazing cook. Is that powdered sugar on the grilled cheese? No one has ever guessed my secret ingredient before. Now as for my secret agenda, I keep plying you with food, hoping you'll stay longer. Actually, I like it so much here at Forest Cove. I was hoping to stay here instead of moving on to the spa. Wonderful. Get the crossword. <laughs> it's a real lollapalooza this week. Just like you. you excuse me for a minute. It's your conference already. Well, nothing on the itinerary jumped out at me. 
Well, don't they have some kind of a dinner reception? Yeah, but that means I would miss your fettuccine puttanesca. And... That would be unacceptable. Mm. Look at that poor boy. You can't create art when you're confused. <sighs> he just needs some inspiration. Like a Mona Lisa. Ah, so you're meddling. It's not meddling when it's done out of love. <laughs> Tammy, Tammy. Oh, sorry. There's a hungry artist in the garden. Oh, okay. <laughs> Helen thought she could use a snack. Thank you. Well, what do you think? What's it supposed to be? I'm trying to get into art school with this. I have to come up with something really special if I want to get in. You don't like it, do you? I kind of like things that look like things. Well, everybody has their own taste. Good luck. What do you want, Jared? We found the perfect place for the special and I'm about to drive there now. You are going to love it. So you called me out of a meeting to tell me that you're doing your job. Oh, I thought you might want to know what we're planning on doing. I really don't care. If you want to impress me, get me ratings. Oh, I will. Remember, it needs to be memorable. Understood. I will not disappoint. I hope not. Relax on your vacation? Oh, work calls. They want me to work on, um, work. Listen, I want to apologize for snapping at you earlier. I just, I worry about my mom. It's OK. You're being a good son. But when I met your mother, I saw one tough cookie. So you've tried her baking. Hello. Gina? Hello, can you hear me? Try out front by the driveway. Oh, and raise your arm. I'm not falling for that. You just want me to look silly. Gina? Gina? Now I can hear you. I've been calling all morning and I can't get through. Reception's terrible here. You should try the hotel phone. What's up? The network approved Forest Cove for the special. I think the place is going to get some great exposure. Jared wants more pictures. I can't wait to tell Helen and Andy. You have to wait. You're still undercover, so they don't give you special treatment. That's the thing. They give everyone special treatment here. We could not have picked better people to help. Oh, and Jared's coming up to do a drive-by to check out the place. I know he likes to get the lay of the land, but you can't really tell much from the outside. Well. He thinks he's such a big star that if he comes in, everyone will recognize him. Of course he does. Oh, and he wants to meet you at a restaurant nearby for dinner. Just tell me when Jared's calling Helen. Andy, I just got off the phone with Jared Blasco. He's coming here. Uh, never mind. <sighs> John's with Jared turned that little place in Connecticut into New England's top bed and breakfast. This is going to be just the boost that we needed. OK, Mom, let's not get excited. I mean, they edit these shows to make it look like the owner's incompetent. Have you ever seen that show? No, but I've seen a lot of reality, and they take things out of context, exaggerate all the problems, and we know that Forrest Cove has a lot of problems. But not all of these shows focus on the negatives. I've watched the show. And, and that Jared is a really nice guy, just the kind of person who would love it here. He's really cute, too. I still think you should say no. And we can come up with another plan. Andy, this sounds like an opportunity of a lifetime. I don't think you can turn it down. There is no such thing as free advertising. But the show is about finding diamonds in the rough, so obviously Forest Cove will come off looking amazing. And they'll find every crack in the wall, every leaky faucet. Okay, I'm doing this show, so you two can stop bickering. I think that's the right choice, Helen. In fact, I know it is. All right, Mom, if we're going to do this, there's a lot of things that need to be fixed. OK, make a list. Why don't the two of you walk around and see what all needs to be spruced up? Actually, I do want to take a look around the ground, so may I borrow this? Yeah. Fine. Let's go. Helen Lochner, if there was a gold medal for meddling, <laughs> it'd be the meddling medal. My mother doesn't realize how much stuff needs to be done to this place. I mean, the roof's leaking. We have to repaint the walls. 
There's patio <gasps> chairs that are. Oh, it's Forest Cove for birds. One Thanksgiving weekend, we were all booked up. This couple needed a place to stay. My parents gave them their room for the night. My husband was a carpenter. He built this to thank us. That's so sweet. Over here, this was from the house my mom grew up in. <laughs> I love that everything here has a story behind it. Except guests don't really see a wooden bench as an amenity. That's why we're losing out to the spa. I don't have to leave the city to sit in a sauna or get my nails done. There's so much more here. There's so much history. You really think this show will give us a good review? You ever watched it? Once or twice. But I think Forest Cove will come off looking like a hidden treasure. Down here, we have a hill that looks like George Washington. Seriously? <laughs> no. It's just a big rock. I did see a rock in Ireland that looked like Napoleon, though. Oh, lucky. I've always wanted to vacation there. Not a vacation. I was covering a protest. So you're a journalist. Travel the world and write. That's very cool. And I get to sleep in my bed 10 times out of a year. It can be hard to stop work from consuming your life. Someday I'll take off and write a book about it. I don't even have time to read one. I travel a lot for work, too. It can get old. What do you do? Uh, I write. But nothing as exciting as what you do. Which reminds me, I should probably call the office. What about the list? Can we pick it up later? Okay. So tell the crew to get a shot of this birdhouse. That is the exact replica of Forest Cove. Oh, and we need to do a segment on Helen's cooking. So any tennis courts, a swimming pool, horseback riding? No, but there is a hay ride. I haven't checked that out yet. How do you not have time at a place with nothing to do? Too busy listening to eight track tapes? You joke, but you'll see when you get here. I can't wait to tell Helen and Andy. Gina? Gina? Oh, hey, uh, what's the name of that show again? Journeys with Jared? Jaunts with Jared. Oh. Boy, I like Diane. She is a real sweetheart. She's pretty, too. OK. Can we have a no meddling policy while I'm here? Wow, those smell amazing. It's a rosemary. I got it from the garden. I grew it myself. You do amazing work. Oh, it's not work for me. That's fun. It's your passion. I used to write reviews on my mom's dinner. <laughs> Excuse me. I ordered my burger medium rare. It came out well done. Oh, I'm sorry, Joan. That was my mistake. I must have put in the wrong order. You know, Tammy, is there a way that we could cook her another one and throw in a dessert on the house? There absolutely is. Thanks. If I had to hire you, that's exactly what I would have done. I hope I didn't overstep. No, not at all. I feel guilty that you're even working. You should be relaxing before you leave, which I hope isn't today. You know, I actually want to talk to you about that. Um, I wanted to extend my stay just so I didn't miss the big show. Heck yeah. <laughs> Lunch time. Um, hey, uh, I think I found my new style. You like it? It only matters if you like it. Really, it only matters if the art school admissions board likes it. Oh, you can't try to paint what you think other people want. You have to trust your instincts. Oh, poor little guy. Oh, doesn't look too good. They're hardy. I can save them. So, uh, what do you do, you know, besides serve food and save vegetation? Studying accounting. So you like crunching numbers? Hardly. Then why you keep torturing yourself? Well, the world needs accountants. Only qualify for waitressing jobs. There you go, buddy. All you needed was some fertilizer and some water. Hmm. How do you know so much about plants? I've always loved growing things. Are you drawing me? You said you liked uh, pictures or art about things, people. 
It's really good. You made me look so happy. Yeah. You were talking about the plants. You got this light in your eyes. And it's... You sure they're not just red from all the all-nighters? <laughs> <gasps> Enjoy your lunch. Hey, so Tammy, with the assortment of goodies that you're doing? Hush. It was it's just a picnic. Ah. Now, have you ever thought about taking up a normal hobby, like, uh, uh, say, knitting? What fun would that be? <sighs> that, that, I... Nick. Your car's ready. And you're welcome. For what? Well, Mom asked me to wash it for you. Well, thank you. I know how hard it is to say no to Helen. You know, being my mom's pastry chef isn't the best use of your vacation time. I love to bake. And I'm having fun trying out new recipes. It's much cooler than lying on a beach somewhere. That could be considered baking, too. You got me there. Um, so Tammy mentioned something about a hayride. Yeah, I can make that happen. Meet me out front when you're ready. Hey, Gina, sorry to bother you, but Jared wants all of Diane's Forest Cove pictures. Why? I sent him the best ones. I don't know. I mean, he said he just wants all of them, even the bad ones. And he's making a vision board. I haven't been on a hayride since I was a kid. Am I your only customer? Yep. Private ride. And we offer complimentary refreshments. Strawberry lemonade? How can I resist? Figured I'd show you the orange grove. It's funny, you don't strike me as the type of guy who would drive a hay truck. Usually I don't. My mom's handyman used to drive it, but he quit. Don't worry, though. You're in good hands. My dad taught me when I was 12 years old. These days, I'm usually in helicopters and Humvees. Hey, let me help you up. Tight. Here we go. Y'all set? Yeah. All right, here we go. It's gonna get bumpy. What? It's gonna get bumpy. Woo! Oh, my, my sweater! I am so sorry. <laughs> we can go back if you want. We can throw it in the washing no, machine. It's fine. I spill stuff on myself all the time. My friend Gina says I could use a sippy cup. I could probably get the stain out with some club soda. Do we have club soda? Yeah, I checked. It's gonna make a pistachio club soda cake for dinner. That is a really unique dessert. They make it in this little inn outside of Portland. Is that the Coral Breeze Inn by chance? How did you know that? Diane, I know who you are. Are you upset? No. I just wish we knew we had a celebrity with us. Does your mom know? I can't wait to tell her. I think it'll be really good for Forest Cove. Of course it will. You gave us a great review. Adina. Right. Adina. You're reading E-Dining with Adina. I was in a cave in Pakistan with a CIA guy. He was a big foodie. I've been hooked ever since. Get out. Yeah. I've never met one of my readers before. Well, now you have. Let me show you around. You want to go for a walk? Sure. All right. So I uh, just did a drive-by at Forest Cove. I'm meant to be having dinner with Diane, so I'm heading into town to look for somewhere decent, but not optimistic. So I'm looking at a Forest Cove picture. Is this one of the new batch? Yeah, Gina sent him over. Might be able to do an interview outside. Or we can point out how the window's missing a shutter. Yeah, I could probably say, 
I shudder to think what it's like on the inside. Oh, I love that. You know, then we can we can zoom in on the rusty table or the uh, the water stain by the front desk. Yeah, that was a bit wobbly, wasn't it? Maybe I can eat some food and the plate will slide off a couple of times. That'd be funny. <laughs> show ever, man. There are so many things wrong with this place. We could do a whole season. <laughs> All right, mate. Talk later. Hello. Jerry. It's so beautiful here. So tell me about your blog. It's nice to talk to a fellow writer. <laughs> We're hardly in the same league. I don't have an exciting career like you, and I still can't quit my day job. Do you like what you do? I used to. Now, it just pays the bills until I can turn my vlog into an empire. What's your plan of attack? I don't know. Uh, cookbooks? A web series? My own TV show? How did you turn writing into a profession? Well, it was rough at first. I you know, took on a bunch of awful jobs and submitted articles. Eventually, you just got to make the leap. I wish I was that optimistic. It's not easy. When my dad died, my mom thought about selling for us. She didn't think she could handle the business side. I helped her with the financial stuff until I left for work. How could you leave this place? It's so wonderful. Is that an official Adina endorsement? I can't believe you busted me. Maybe it's because your nom de plume is an anagram for Diane. It's a food blog, so wouldn't it be a nom 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 de plume? <laughs> Oh, that bat was my, my favorite accessory. Oh, wow, reception. I should take this. Hey, what's up? Jared's done scouting the location. He wants to meet you at a restaurant in town. Can you be there, like, now? I guess I don't have a choice. I'll text you the address. Hey, I have to get going. Yeah, me too. Mom, you're gonna hurt yourself. <laughs> Don't fuss. This is my new copy machine. You could have fallen or hurt your back. <sighs> I hate to think what you do when I'm not here. I'm the one that worries about you. All right, well, let me open this up and I'll bring it in to you in a minute. Thank you. Tammy, the new copy machine is here. What's your name? Katie. 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 Much love. Jared Blasco. Yeah? <laughs> Thanks for being a fan. Excuse me. Um, can I get bottled? I'm fine with coffee, thank you. Jared, please don't. For all your hard work. You're always saying that I don't appreciate you, so, uh... As long as they're boss flowers and not boyfriend flowers. Why are you covered in hay? Huh? I think you're taking this undercover thing a little too seriously, don't you? I was on a hay ride. Really? Pulled by really old horses? By a really old truck. Well, that's great. We need to put it in the show. It's actually a really nice ride. On the way in, I passed the property. Beside the fact that there's no valet, the outside's not all that horrible. And you have to experience its charm. It's like staying in a nice, snuggly blanket. People are looking for a place to unplug. This place is not designer furniture, jacuzzi tubs, but it's like staying with family. When I stay with family, I stay at a nice hotel. Just give it a chance, all right? Why don't you eat dinner there tonight? I would love to have dinner with you tonight. There's a five-star restaurant at the spa. You're not getting it. OK. What do you want from me? I want you to give Forest Cove a fair review. Fine, but I'm not going to lie. My credibility's on the line. All right? If everything on this list is fixed, then you wouldn't be lying. Wiggly Bannister. What do you mean? I mean, if I fix everything on that list, then you'll give Forest Cove a glowing review. I don't think it works. Glowing. Out. You haven't even finished your coffee. I have to get back. I have a lot of work to do at Forest Cove. Well, if you have any questions, you have my information. Yeah? 
Hey, what's up? I was looking for you earlier. Oh, I was in town. Not much of a town. More like a street. What were you doing? I was getting coffee with a friend. I was passing through. Kind of made a face. Not a friend you like? He's an ex. Um, anyway, I was thinking about what you were saying about reality television always focusing on the negative, and I think you're right. It wouldn't hurt to spruce things up around here, right? Do you still have that list? I do. I mean, it's a big list. I fixed the roof, but everything else would take months to do. How about we just focus on the things we can get done in a day or two? Okay, sounds like a plan. Hey, Tammy. Um, hi. Hi. <laughs> Listen, I, uh, I went down into the town to get some paints, uh, and um, I, I got this for you. Thanks. I love it. Do you ever think about studying botany? My school has a program, but I never looked into it. The thing is, is I've met a ton of accountants, but I've never met a botanist. You really want to spend the rest of your life doing something you don't enjoy? That's why they call it work, right? I think you feel about plants the same way that I do about art. It's something that you love so much that you couldn't imagine yourself doing anything else for the rest of your life. I know what you're saying, but I mean, have you looked at the job market? It's brutal. Okay, but there are other careers out there for you besides accounting. There are also other ways to paint. W what does that have to do with what we're talking about? Look, I <laughs> I'm just saying that that sketch you did was amazing. And if you painted like that, I feel like every gallery in town would be fighting over you. No, they won't. Real art is edgy. The art school people are looking for raw emotions, not a picture of a pretty girl holding flowers. Well, at least you think I'm pretty. Thanks for the book. I just had coffee with Jared, and I gave him a list of every single thing that's wrong with Forest Cove, and I have to fix everything on that list, or he's gonna write a bad review. You know we're shooting in a couple of days. He'll never get it all done. Andy already started on repairs. Maybe we can do it together. So your Andy is on board with your plan? Yes, he'll help. I thought you guys were butting heads. Not anymore. He's actually OK. Well, if you're saying he's OK, he must be awesome. Ready? Forest Cove 2.0, here we go. Just a light bulb. Looks like there's a short in the socket. I should probably paint this too. You uh, you sure you don't need any help, huh? No, nope, I don't think I'm good. Good. Yeah, still got a screw loose. I painted the railings and made the banister stronger. Uh, installed the coffee machine, sealed the windows. Hey, look, guys. Bill turned a sketch into a painting. That is beautiful. Oh, my gosh. Maybe we could hang it up somewhere. Oh, well, that would be great. Then we could show Bill's work. I think we have some extra frames lying around. I cannot believe how much got done around here today. It looks so much better. Oh, well, Diane doesn't know when to quit. Hey, what are we going to do about that stain on the wall? It's going to look bad on camera, I would think. Well, we'd have to paint the whole hallway, otherwise it wouldn't match. Well, why don't we put Bill's painting there? Great! So, what else is on the list? Uh, sleep. At least for you. We've been at this since 7 a.m. No, we have too much to do before the crew gets here. We can't fix everything. And we don't have the budget to do all the stuff that Force Cove really needs. Why don't you two take a break? 
I'm making meatloaf for dinner. I can't. I gotta meet a friend in town. Oh, what friend? <laughs> Just a work friend. You don't know. So, tell me again how coffee is going to make me a better host. Your problem is you are trying too hard. Yeah, but I can't be my normal self. It's too boring. Jared radiates energy, and it seems to be working for him. You're not Jared. Okay, you're Gina. Okay, so what works for Jared might not work for you. The trick isn't just to mimic somebody else. You have to find your own voice. And how exactly do I do that? Go interview that guy. What? No. Why not? It's good practice. You'll think I'm insane. You're taking my class because you want to interview people. Yeah. So, go interview him, but be yourself. Okay, don't be Jared, Gina. Be Gina, Gina. Excuse me. Do you have a minute to talk? Sure, what's up? What exactly are you up to tonight? Um, are you offering me this coffee, or...? No, sorry. <sighs> sorry, I should have introduced myself. I'm Gina. Dan. It's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Have you ever heard of John's with Jared? Is that the one with the hotel reviews? That's the one. I'm a pro I'm one of the new hosts on the show, and I was just doing some practice interviews. Hey, how, how exciting. <laughs> I was wondering if maybe I could take a few minutes of your time to talk to you about the restaurant you just came out of? Sure. <laughs> I've never been interviewed before. Uh Lucas, thank you for meeting me on such short notice. I'm heading to Australia in a couple days. Oh, it's a very interesting proposition. I hate to lose out. Well, I think it's time to sell Forest Cove. Thank you so much for your time, Dan. I really appreciate it. You're welcome. You did it! Oh my gosh, that felt amazing! You were great. Thank you. Thank you so much for everything. I get it. <laughs> Still at Forest Cove, Helen's meatloaf was simple but delicious. It wasn't duck meatloaf or meatloaf injected with tomato foam, but a plain old loaf of meat. It made me long for a simpler time in my life when relationships weren't complicated and I was following my dream, not somebody else's. Food doesn't have to be complex to be good. And maybe life doesn't either. Oh, hi, Dr. Burke. Uh, Charles, please. Okay. <laughs> hey, aren't you supposed to be at a medical conference? Uh... Can you keep a secret? It's actually the one thing I'm very good at. There is no medical conference. Never has been. I, uh, just come up here to see Helen. Does she know? Oh, I don't know. No, I, I'm gonna drop her hands, but, uh, I'm afraid to tell her how I really feel. I'm afraid it might ruin her friendship if she didn't think of me like that. Helen's pretty intuitive. I think she knows more than she's letting on. You think so? I could do some detective work. I can see why Helen likes you so much. I should probably get to bed. Early morning tomorrow. Well, good night, Diane. Night, Dr. Burt. And thank you. I think we'll close across another item off the list. Not until we prime it. A girl who knows her primer. Your ex was a lucky man. Was he also a fan of your food blog? Actually, he never knew about it. I don't really tell anyone. Hey, you two. Why don't you take a break? You've been working all morning. There's so much to do, and the crew comes at 5 a.m. You should know by now my mom does not take no for an answer. I guess a lunch break wouldn't set us back too much.
leaves, debris, <laughs> shutters are hanging off. <laughs> yeah, you might want to lay some scary music over all this. Dude, this is going to be so much fun. Why don't we shoot it to make it look like a haunted house? Oh, that might be a bit over the top. I think the carpeting's frightening enough, mate. Oh, one other idea I wanted to run past you. I got this from props. Maybe you could put it in the kitchen. Eek, that's live television. Yeah. Yeah, that could go viral on the internet. We'll call this episode The Chopping Down of Forest Cove. Brilliant. <laughs> uh, what we got here? All right, here. There you go. Can I ask your honest opinion? Of course. Uh, OK. Um, what do you think of this? for my next painting. You know, I'm not an expert on modern art, but I'm sure it's probably very good for the type of thing it's meant to be. Uh, I told my parents that it was supposed to be a representation of my inner emotions, and they said that I must be confused. You're gonna find the right path. Tea? Uh, oh. No, thanks. Yeah, I will. You sure? Uh, yeah. Okay, thank you, Tammy. Maybe you just need some inspiration. Catching up on your schoolwork? Sorry, just trying to get in a last minute cramming session before my exam tomorrow. Well, you get an A plus for gardening because everything you planted in our vegetable garden is delicious. Mm -hmm. I've always loved growing things. You could try some different kind of fruit trees in our orchard if you like. I wish I had the time. Between school and work, I barely have time to sleep. No, so no time for dating, huh? I'm just not up for going out and meeting anyone after a day of accounting and finance classes. How do you feel about art? This is a nice compromise, a working lunch. Yeah, it's a pretty great view. My dad always wanted to build a tree house over there. We never got around to it. He taught me to fish in the river. Then we found an abandoned baby squirrel in the barn. That weekend, we happened to have a guest that was a vet, helped us nurse her back to health. I love all the memories here. Bella and Marie met here. Dr. Brooke has his stories. Maybe Bill will remember this as the place that helped him get into art school. I always get so caught up in the business part of this place that I forget about how much it means to people. I think you've forgotten how much it means to you. I usually dread coming back here. Since you've been at Forest Cove, I hate to leave. We should get back to work. I'm Helen Lochner, owner of Forest Cove. Hi, I'm Helen Lochner, owner and proprietor of Forest Cove. Hello, I'm Helen Lochner. Welcome to Forest Cove. We got to say you were the owner that time. Just exercising my vocal cords for tomorrow. Mm-hmm. Fess up. You were rehearsing. No, that would be silly. Not really. I know how much we have riding on the show. I just hope you're not disappointed. These are cutthroat people, Mom. Honey, this show isn't like that, though. They, they don't make fun of people. Every business that's ever been featured on here has been helped. We can't buy that kind of publicity. You haven't even watched one episode. OK. I'll watch one online. What's the name of it? John's with Jed? Jared. Jared. <laughs> I took your advice and I cut down on the butter milk. And the burners replaced? We're almost done with our list. Great. Now sit down and enjoy your scone. Relax for a change. Mmm. Yeah, so much fluffier. Good. I don't have to worry about our older customers cracking their dentures. So you get a lot of repeat customers, right? Like Dr. Burke, he comes back a lot. Yeah. Yeah, he's very loyal. He stayed here a few years ago, and we really hit it off. And now he sends me postcards when he's traveling, because he knows I can never get a vacation from this place. So he's more than a guest. He's a friend. Yeah. All right, ask me what you really want to ask me, young lady. All right. Do you see Dr. Burke as more than a friend? 
You know, he's cute and funny and he makes me laugh. Helen, you have spent so much time finding other people love. Maybe it's time you started thinking about yourself. Eat your scone. Another day at Forest Cove. Not only is the food made with love, but love seems to be in the air. Forest Cove, this is Tammy. How may I help you? May I speak to Diane Brown? Oh, may I ask who's calling? It's her sister. Diane. It's your sister. Oh, thanks, Tammy. Yeah. Hello? Hey, it's me. Oh, hi. Hey, when are you coming up? I'm supposed to be driving up tonight. The rest of the crew's coming up tomorrow. Just a heads up, Jared's already on his way. Oh. Hey, you should come by Forest Cove tonight. Hang out, meet Andy. Be here to support me when I tell him the truth. About that, you have to pull the plug on the show. What? Why? Helen needs this. I overheard Jared and Eric talking. They're planning to trash Forest Cove. But Andy and I have spent the last two days fixing it up. It doesn't matter. They want to make the place look terrible. They're planning to stage things to get higher ratings. That's not the deal Jared and I had. Maybe not when he was your boyfriend, but your boss, Jared, is throwing you under the bus. How am I going to tell Helen and Andy this? You can't. Figure out a way to get them to cancel. Um, that sketch I gave you, why did you put that up? Because it's awesome. Uh, that was meant just for you, okay? It's not for the public. But it's the nicest art at Forest Cove. It's not art. <laughs> art is supposed to be open for interpretation. Art says something about the human condition. And that art says that the person who did it has an amazing amount of talent. Uh, okay. Listen, I took your suggestion. I signed up for botany classes next semester, and I'm going to start looking into some internships. This is a big deal. It is, and that's really great. You told me that I should follow my passion. But you're trying to copy someone else's style or what you think other people want. But if art is true expression, maybe you should start expressing your true self. My true self isn't going to get me anywhere. I need to find a style so that I can go to art school. You have found that style. And once you realize that, you're gonna be a lot happier. Ben? Gina, hi. You're early. Uh, class isn't for another half hour. I know, I just wanted to swing by and let you know that I can't make class tonight. I have an early shoot tomorrow and I have to drive out to the location now. Well, that's too bad. I'll see you next time. Absolutely. I'll be here. Good. Thank you for helping me. I can't wait to show Jared what I learned from you. Can I give you a piece of advice? Of course. I don't think you should pitch Jared. You don't think I'm ready? Oh, you're definitely ready. But in my experience, people like Jared are easily threatened. What do you think I should do? Just. Take any opportunities you can. I will. Thanks, Ben. Yeah, I should get going. We'll see you soon. Have fun. Gina, do you want to go out sometime? Definitely. Give me a call when you can. I will. Liar? Party of one? Diane, how'd you know where I was? We had a deal. I fix everything on that list and you write a nice review on Forest Cove. Oh, well, you see, Diane, I never actually agreed to that. It's not a show about fixer-uppers. It's not a show that destroys a place that someone put their heart and soul into. Drama drives the ratings up. Gotta give the fans what they want. Yeah, well, I'm not a fan of mean-spirited television. Dr. Burke, have you seen Andy? No, I told him you're looking for him. Everything okay? No, I need to find him. It's urgent.
Forest Cove. This is Andy. Hi, I'm trying to get a hold of Diane McCarthy. She's not answering her cell. No, we don't have anybody here by that name. Oh, uh, I mean Diane Brown. Right, that's her name. Tell her Judd called. Uh, I can have her call you back. What's this about? You know, just have her call Jared. He's been trying to reach her all day. Jared? As in John's with Jared? Um, who is this? Does Diane work for the show? Uh, never mind. I'll just try her back on her cell. There's something I need to tell you. Oh, that the show we're doing tomorrow is yours? I can explain. Please. Jared is going to do a hit piece on Forest Cove. I just found out. You, you, you have to believe me. Why would I believe anything you say, Miss McCarthy? Andy, just listen, all right? You need to pull out of the show. My mom already signed a contract because you convinced her that this would save Forest Cove. <sighs> I'm sorry I got you guys to believe in this. You know what? It doesn't matter. I had a plan B all along. Plan B? That's perfect. What is it? I'm going to convince my mother to sell Forest Cove. What? Why? We have a prime piece of land. This would give my mom a nice chunk of change for retirement. No, no, Andy, you, you can't do this. This will break your mother's heart. Forest Cove is her life. My mother cannot run this place by herself anymore. Andy, this place is your home. It's your childhood. It gave you memories other kids wish they could have. I'm sure you can still get a room at the spa. Hey, you seen Diane? She was gonna make some zucchini bread. Diane's not available. Oh, well, maybe you're gonna have to help me with dinner then. Mom, there's something I gotta tell you. Diane lied to us. She's a producer of the show, and they're gonna ruin us tomorrow. Diane is a really good person. She wouldn't do something like that. It doesn't matter. Besides, she's not the only one keeping secrets. I have somebody who's interested in buying Forest Cove. You did that without even talking to me? I was going to hold off. The show forced my hand. Is that why you've been doing all these repairs? No. This place needs a lot of fixing up, and you can't do it on your own. I understand. You do? It's not fair of me to ask you to fix things when you come home. You work hard and you need time off. Forest Cove was the dream your father and I had. I knew it was never really yours. I kept hoping. <laughs> I haven't taken a vacation in 30 years. Maybe if this show doesn't work out, then it is time to let go. Mom, the show's not going to work out. You need to find a way out of your contract while there's still time. Let me do the show. If it turns out badly, then I'll give you my blessing and you can sell for us, Cove. Really? I'm still gonna do the show. I may not have a good head for business, but when I follow my heart, things to tend to work out. I love you, honey. I love you, too. for my room and all the food you put on my tab. Thank you. Where will you go? I have a room at the spa. Helen, please don't do this show. I could probably get you out of the contract. I'm doing the show. I have a good feeling about this, and I, I have faith in you. You're going to think of something. I don't think I can. You and Andy trusted me, and I let you down. It'll work out. I am very sorry. I'll see you here tomorrow. This place is interesting. What's good here? The coffee and the free Wi-Fi. <laughs> Thanks for meeting me here. I couldn't chase Jared at the spa. For someone who spent the last few days relaxing, you look super stressed. I feel terrible. How'd you leave things with Andy? He hates me. He thinks I'm out to ruin Forest Cove, which he wants to sell anyway. 
I don't know how I'm gonna face him and Helen tomorrow at the shoot. Maybe it's time you tell people who you really are. Stop hiding behind a Dina. Hey, Gina, you're right. I think I know how to fix this. This is our lounge. We have a lot of antiques here in Forest Cove. I can give them to you for a really good price if you want them. <laughs> this one's worthless. Well, somebody ruined it. Peanuts? Uh, no, thanks. Yeah, my mom and dad used to put pretzels in there. Adam, switch it out so I can feed the squirrels. Uh, the squirrels are going to have to find somewhere else to find their food. I can write you a check now. Have the office send over the paperwork in the morning. All right, let me talk it over with my mom. I'll get back to you. Thanks. I'm thinking maybe this art thing isn't really for me. I thought maybe you could use these watercolors, turn them into postcards or something. Your mom's been so generous letting me stay. I thought it was the least I could do. Yeah, my dad taught me to fish in this river. <sighs> yeah, I grew up in an apartment. It must have been so much fun to live in a place like this. Yeah, it had its moments. Wow. These are amazing. You ever thought this was what you were meant to do? Landscapes? These are spots I loved when I was growing up. Yeah, watercolor just kind of came to me. You can't run away from something that's part of you. Andy, this painting's not really covering that stain. They're going to be here at 5 in the morning. Can you fix it? I don't have the supplies. Hardware store is closed already. I could paint a mural. It's a great idea. Make sure you sign it with really big letters so that they can read your name. OK. Um... I need to make some coffee. <laughs> right behind you, kid. You sure you want to go through with this tomorrow? Even if it's a disaster? It's not. Diane's going to work this out. Who also said it would be a disaster, which is probably the only thing that she said to us that wasn't a lie. You had a few secrets going on there for a while yourself. Honey, I saw how well the two of you got along. That's over. Don't judge her so harshly. What's the point? She's going back to her job, and I leave for Australia in two days. A lot of things can happen in a day. My plan doesn't work. Team. Good morning, good morning. Good morning, Diane. Jared? Right. Well, this is uh, very nice, very nice, very nice. Good deal. Very, very good. Very interesting. <clears throat> I'm going to make it up to you, all right? If the special's a success, we can do a spin-off. You'll have complete control. Gina can even be a host. I know she's wanted to do that. No deal. Well, I know you've been overworked, all right? So why don't we just go home and start working these out between us? <clears throat> this belongs to you. Nice try, pal. A fake mouse? You were going to fake a rodent problem? You're the rat, Jared. Jared, then from the network, she's trying to get a hold of you. She says it's urgent. Really? I'm getting a call? There's no cell reception here. Okay. Perfect. So how to make a telephone call in this place? Use the telephone. Right. Absolutely. Any decent place will have reception. 
Mm-hmm. Would you mind, uh... Cheers. Lynn. Hi, how are you? Have you started? No, we're just about to get started. I think it's going to be memorable. Like we talked about in the meeting. So what's this I'm hearing about you giving a bad review to Forest Cove? Some blog called e Dining with Adina is an uproar about this and we are getting blowback. People are calling the network. It's bad publicity. What? How's that even possible? Just do a nice piece on them, okay? And that right. is an order. Lynn, listen. Lynn, Lynn. Lynn, listen, listen to me. This is my show, all right? Look, if we don't, you're just gonna have a, an hour of dead air. You will do what I am telling you, Jared, or you will no longer have a show. Yeah. Goodbye. What was that all about? Some blogger called Edina. She'd been contacting the network, getting people riled up. Apparently, um, if we make this place look bad, they're not gonna air us. So, anyway, if I ever come across her, Edina, I might do something dramatic. Actually, Jared. I'm Adina. What? My fans have been following my post about Forest Cove. I've written all about Helen's cooking and how wonderful everyone's been to me here. You have fans? Adina has fans. And last night I told them who I really was and that I needed help saving Forest Cove. And then I gave them the phone number to the network executive. Jared, not to interrupt, but uh, the director's ready for you. You listen to me, all right? I do not take orders from the network, nor do I take orders from my girlfriend's food blog. X. Girlfriend. I could get a better job on a bigger network tomorrow morning. How's an hour of nothing gonna work out for this place? Good luck. Excuse me. Okay. Gina, do you think you can host? Yeah, just give me five minutes for hair and makeup, okay? <laughs> I didn't really like him anyway. <laughs> now I just have to find Helen. All right, everybody, it's time to find Helen. Who's Helen? So I read your blog. Really good stuff. No more hiding. I have to be who I really am. You showed me that. Well, can you show me a few things as well? I talked to my mom last night. She told me that I mattered more than Forest Cove. Forest Cove is my home. We're not selling. What about Australia? I don't want to leave. And I don't want to leave you either. Busted. Come on, don't you have a show to do? I think my meddling's finally paying off. Hey, know everybody's secrets, huh? Yeah, including yours, buddy. Hmm? I know there's no medical conference this week. I just come up here to see you. All I do is look for excuses to come back here ever since you and I first met. No niece's wedding? No, I'm an only child. No golf tournament? I don't like golf. Who makes up stuff like that? Somebody who's in love. I understand if you don't feel the same. But I do love you, too. <laughs> so what do we do now? Well, I'm going to retire. Take a trip around the world, what do you think? And I, I'd like to have you next to me, if that's uh, not asking too much. Like a long honeymoon. Well, that would require being married first. <laughs> Is that entirely out of the question? <laughs> I think Dr. Birch has proposed to my mom. I didn't know he liked her like that. I might have known a little something about it. I promise no more secrets. <laughs> need a copy of those, you know, for my art school application. It looks amazing. I'm so proud of you. Thanks. I guess you're right. I'm not an edgy artist. Well, I bet you make a better dinner companion. 
if you let me take you to dinner to thank you, then I guess you could be the judge of that. I think I would like that. And here we go. Roll one, scene two, take one. Five, four, three. Welcome to Jaunts with Gina. I'm here with Helen Lochner, the owner of Forest Cove, a charming bed and breakfast, a real hidden gem. Can you tell us a little bit about this mural? Yes, that was done by a local artist, Bill Everston. <laughs> Since my mom's gonna be spending so much time with Dr. Burke, I think we're gonna need some help running Forest Cove. I might be looking for a job soon. Reality television is just not my thing. Maybe I could live here and work on my cookbook, Divine Dishes with Diane. I could finally write my book, too. I'll still put you to work. So you talked us into doing this show, and you managed to play matchmaker with my mom and Dr. Burke. I think we're gonna have to tell future guests there's some meddling going on. It's not meddling when it's done out of love. How did you get into the VMP business? Well, oh gosh. When my husband and I moved out of the city, we bought this land. So, I have an idea. We make a cookbook with right. all the recipes your mom created for Forest Cove. It's the Forest Cove cookbook. I would have to agree. <laughs> yeah, me too. So, what's your favorite recipe? Uh, maybe. Oh, the grilled cheese sandwich, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> 